What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as requested by one of my subscribers in a recent Trading212 video, we will discuss and go through four main features or updates on Trading212 platform over the last few months. We will discuss the auto invest feature, fractional shares, how to share your Pi through link, and also moving shares or positions between various Pi's. But before I get into today's video, as always, if you're new around here, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're currently on 330 subscribers, which means we are 20 away from reaching our next goal of 350. So with all that being said, let's dive right into my trading 212 portfolio. We can even see on the login screen on trading 212 that to provide zero commission investing, zero fees, or six and a half thousand global stocks and ETFs, fractional shares, which we'll discuss, no foreign exchange fees, unlimited instant trading, auto invest and pies which we will also go through in today's video i also just want to show you two quick features before we dive into the four main ones in today's video which i feel will help you out firstly is dividends so if you have any pies that pay a dividend you can have it reinvested in automatically which simply going into your overview of the pie going to dividends clicking the settings button here and clicking on or off so that's quite straightforward and then in terms of rebalancing your pie another quite important feature simply Let's say if you wanted your weightings, so for example, on my communication services pie, we have Facebook with 50%, Walt Disney with 40 and at and with 10. We can see here that Facebook is currently 52.5%, so it's going up in value. So simply, if you wanted to rebalance your portfolio or you wanted to change the weightings, so let's say we wanted to change Facebook to 30 and we wanted to change Walt Disney to 60 and leave at and at 10, then simply we would readjust these weightings and click rebalance and the platform would buy and sell shares accordingly to get all of these values to the required weightings. So I just thought two of those features are quite fast and simple to use, but it can be quite effective if you need to use them in your own trading to one portfolio. So the first main feature I want to discuss in today's video is the auto invest feature. And for the purpose of this video, we will just use my technology pie as an example. So to use auto invest, you simply scroll over to the right, the third drop down, which is auto invest. You then click on the toggle button here, which will bring up a screen. Now, I believe the auto invest feature is very handy for any investor of all skill sets and levels, because firstly, it, you don't require to constantly log on on a weekly basis or monthly basis to throw in your own, let's say, your own investment capital. And I also kind of believe that it takes out the emotion out of trading so for example, let's say you you manually put in a thousand euro a month. Well, every time you log in, you can see your trades and if they're going down, you could start to panic and sell. Or if they're going up, you also might want to sell because you think the value is going up. Whereas if you auto invest in your money manually out of let's say your wages every month, you don't really have the emotional factor attached because the second, let's say you got paid 4,000 euro in your wages, well automatically on a certain given day, whichever day you you date you put into your settings they will take that 1000 euro or whatever amount for that matter 500 or 100 euro whatever you can afford they will take that on the day and they will also you it kind of goes directly out of your account so you don't really have any emotional attachment to that money so i also find that this auto invest is very useful because you can change your time span of how many years you want to invest so you can go from one year to 40 years we can also see here that you can go from anywhere from one euro or dollar a month or week all the way up to 30,000 a week or a month. So that's very handy because it incorporates in all abilities and also all value levels. Next, we can see, which I found a very useful feature, the chart on the left that you can change. So let's say, let's be a bit more realistic here and put it down to 10 years. So when we put it down to 10 years and let's say we put in 1,000 a month, which a lot of people will be able to afford and if not put in 500 or 100 whatever you can so for the instance of this portfolio we're talking about my tech pie at the moment which has four holdings in the form of microsoft alphabet amazon and we also have in there as well we have apple amazon google and microsoft so the four of those companies would give me a, an average projected value of over 739,000 euro over a 10 year period, judging on their past performance, and also putting a thousand euro a month in, and my initial deposit of a thousand. 
The second feature that I want to discuss in today's video, and definitely one of trading 2 on 2's two, unique selling point, is fractional shares. So why I find this very important is because a lot of first time investors usually tend to stick to such platforms as trading 2 on 2 due to no commissions. But what I find very handy is especially with bigger companies such as Amazon or Alphabet, for example, a lot of first time investors don't have the capital to buy one full share at the moment in their investing career. So for the purpose of this video, we'll just look at Tesla, which is currently at about $420 a share. So simply, if you wanted to buy a fractional share, you just click buy. And so let's say you didn't have the $420 to buy one full share. So let's say you wanted to buy one tenth of a share. So you simply just put in 0 0.1 and you would see here that that will cost you 35 euro, or if you want to do half a share even, or you could even do 0 0.01 of a share, it would be three euro 55. And again, this is very useful if you wanted to have a kind of diversified portfolio on a low overall capital. These fractional shares are also very handy when you have pies. So you can even see here in my investments that all of these are fractional shares. So for example, a 5.31 in Barrick Gold, 0.83 in Chevron. And even if we scroll down here, we have 1.05 in Facebook. So let's say you have 10 holdings in your overall pie. And let's say you want to invest 100 euro. Well, they'd put 10 euro into each of those pies if each of those weightings were 10%, just to make it a simple example. So obviously a lot of companies' values aren't 10 euro a share. So let's say 3M was $100 a share, just as an example. Well, then it would buy one tenth of a share in your in that pie for you for each of those 10 holdings. So it's very handy as well for pie features. And especially if you have a few euro or dollars left over in your overall investment capital, it can, it's handy to buy fractional shares to use up all of the available cash funds. The third main feature that I want to discuss in today's video is how to share your pie. Now this is useful if you make videos like me on like your updates on your overall pie. So you could put the link in your description of your video below so that others could see your pie and your holdings per pie at any given time. So to do this, you simply go into your pie features here and we'll just go into my consumer discretionary pie. And then if we scroll down here up to the bottom, we see share your pie toggle that button on and you will get a link. So simply then copy that link and I'll just show you what you would see then if you would have used that link. So for the purpose of this video, my consumer discretionary pie, you can see that an annual uh, annual return of 23.5%. I currently have two holdings, Tesla and McDonald's with 50% allocation each. So I believe that's very handy to have as well for your own purposes to have these kind of overall like annual return percentages, your holdings, your weightings, and it's quite handy as well if you want to show others. So you can toggle this feature on and off at any given time. So you can just toggle it back off. And you, if you want as well, you can have it on for some pies and other others. So I find that's quite a handy feature as well to have on your trading 2 on 2 portfolio. And finally, probably the most important feature I believe, and the feature that I was really looking forward to, that I felt this platform was lacking for a long time, was being able to import and export positions from pies. So to do this, you just go into your um, holdings feature here. We're using my consumer staples pie for this example. Just simply scroll down to the bottom here and the bottom right, we can see there's the import investments and export investments. I believe this is a great addition to the pie or the trading two and two portfolio, because for example, just let's say, Walt Disney, they used to pay a dividend, so they would have been in a lot of people's dividend pies. But since the crash of in March, they've cut their dividend, so a lot of people want to remove them from that dividend pie, but not sell the, not sell the share completely and put it into a different pie, let's say a growth sector pie. However, if you wanted to have done that, you would have had to sell your shares and rebuy at a different price. So I feel that this is a very good addition to the Train 2 and 2 platform that a lot of people should utilize if needs be. Now, if you don't use the beta of the Trading 2 and 2, you mightn't have this feature yet because Trading 2 and 2 have a lot more features and updates in the pipeline. So it's definitely worth checking out that link, uh, the beta link, if you would like to start using such features as importing and exporting files. So with all that being said, that brings the end to today's video. Throughout this video, we discussed the auto invest feature, 
fractional shares, how to share your pie, moving investments between pies, how to rebalance your portfolio pies, and finally, how to reinvest your dividends. If this video helped in any way, it would be great if you could smash that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new around here, as these type of videos would be able to go out to a larger audience, which would be able to help more people in the long term. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions about the six features that we discussed in today's video, please comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you right away. So thanks very much guys. I hope this video helped and I'll see you all in the next video.